them that this particular judgment, i.e. the stoning, not the whole Torah, the stoning, is already there. That's all it's presupposing. Very simple. That's a problem with these Christians. They think that the Quran is somehow legitimizing the Torah. No, it's not. If you read chapter 2, verse 79, it tells you that they have corrupted it. They have corrupted the Torah very clearly. Chapter 2, verse 79. This guy gets me. This guy is always insecure when I come around because he knows he knows all the lies he brings about the Quran, about the Sunnah, they get exposed and he doesn't like that somehow. But I don't blame him for that. He's not the only Christian who feels that way. So you read, you read the whole page? You can't even read the whole page because he keeps talking. Why don't you keep quiet when you're told to keep quiet? Sorry? Why don't you keep quiet when you're told to keep quiet? Told by who? By me. You were part of the conversation. You see, you don't listen to me, then why should I listen to you? See what I mean? It works both ways. This is the insecurity of the Christians. That's what they are. When you start believing in this false gods called the Trinity, which is not in the Bible, nowhere found in the Bible, and I've asked him this many times, he runs away from this question. Mark, mark my words. If he ever agrees to discussing the Trinity with me, then I will say, yes, this man is actually proud of his faith, i.e. Christianity. But the fact they run away from the most fundamental doctrine of Christianity, i.e. the Trinity, and also if we discuss the, trin the con uh, sorry, the doctrine of the crucifixion and resurrection, then also they run away. Because this is what they cannot face. The most important doctrines are something that goes against them. Against the intellect, against the sincerity, against the truth which they claim they have. But if you really have the tr truth, you shouldn't worry about discussing your main doctrine, should you? Yeah, I was keeping you guys from getting bored. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, before I forget, can I just show you the, the verse I'm going to bring out from, from what you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you talked about uh, Muslim 43. I just read it. Yeah, I just read it. Yeah, I just read it. Yeah. Just read it. And over here it says, and whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, then it is those who are, are the rock and the Jews. But we believe that the Torah was revealed, that Allah revealed the Torah. Exactly, so, Moses. So, so from your understanding from now, where should the Jews go for judgment? In that for the adultery. Where should they go? For the Torah? Yeah, right. But when you say that the Bible is corrupt, because we didn't say the old Bible. We never said that. I would like to know when. And by when, if you know a specific period, you can tell me. But I can make that easier for you. Would you say it's before Muhammad or after? The corruption, yes. I'll say before. I'll say before. If you don't know, you can it's always ask me. Yeah? It's, it's fine if I'm you don't know, to there is a problem. It's fine in a way that you don't know because obviously we can't yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say but there is a problem that. because when we make a claim like, okay, the Bible is being corrupted and we don't have an idea of when, then it becomes... Do you no, see what I'm saying? But see, you're using the argument of when. That means time, right? Yeah, so if you... But if I you know it's being corrupted. No, but I use the argument where I've actually seen the verse. That's why I said to you earlier. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I, I shouldn't be saying it, but I'm going to say the argument. So, but you have no idea what? when. When? I don't know. Even before or after Muhammad, you can put a time in the That just makes, I'll just leave it here because that, that just makes you. Do you want me to answer that question? It's a very simple question. I don't question. want your answer. Well, I'm not asking you. you I'm can asking him. him. I'm asking him. But the question was mine. doesn't matter, I'm asking you. Okay, so you, you don't control the discussion. You're asking discussion or you're answering. You don't control the discussion. I'm asking or answering. You, answering. you don't control the discussion. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. I know you got us insecurity problems. Look, okay, the same one was. What this guy's trying to get to you is this. He's trying to tell you that why would Allah tell those Jews to judge by the Torah if the Torah was already corrupted. That was his point. Okay? The point is this. No Muslim, neither the Prophet Muhammad or the companions or the scholars have ever said the entire Bible is corrupted. We know it has been corrupted, but no one says it's been corrupted entirely. For example, in Deuteronomy 6.4, it says, Here is your Lord, God is one. Do we deny that the God is one? No. In Mark 12.29, Jesus responds to the same thing. The most important commandment is your Lord, God is one. Again, do we deny that? No. Allah says very clearly, the only thing that mentions in that particular verse is with regards to the stoning punishment. punishment. The punishment of stoning for the adultery, for the fornication. This is what Allah is referring to, not the whole Torah. So Allah tells them, judge, why do they ask you if the judgment is already there in the Torah? Judgment of what? Not every single law 
but only the judgment of the punishment for the fornication and adultery. It's a very simple matter. If anyone is sincere, they can quite easily understand this context. The only reason you would be asking this is basically if you yourself haven't understood it. Because he's assuming that Allah says the whole Bible is corrupted. No. The whole Bible, i.e. the entire Torah and the ent entire Injil, we don't say is corrupted. However, there are things in there which are definitely corrupted. And even the Christian scholars agree to this. For example, the first John 5, 7, the only words they had with regards to the Trinity has been taken out from all the Bibles today. Why? Because it has been proven to be a corruption. Now, this is the category that we are dealing with. Christian scholars themselves are saying the Bible is corrupted. First John 5, 7, check it out. Your Bible has taken it away, all the other Bibles taken. The only Bible which still maintains it is the KJV and the NKJV because they go by a different manuscript. And that is the important thing. Has, has, has that made sense to you yeah, with regards to Alhamdulillah, good. The, you, the point that you brought forward didn't really make sense to me because you talked about this verse, or you, you read the verse, you read the Bible, and you specifically talked about the Torah. But before that, you talked to me about the Bible. And after, after it's part of the Bible. But I can change that. I can oh. just say, take it. But then, I don't know if you, if you are assuming that I, I said the, thing, uh, the Bible was corrupt. I didn't say it was corrupt. I did it. I said that it was changed into the ignorant people. Did I not say that? So it's not corrupt. No, I said it was changed. The, the original Bible that was set from God is, 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 is the word of God. That's what I believe. That's Do we what Islam teaches. Do we have it? No. How do you know? No, I don't. I can't say that. No, I can't say. Okay. So if that's and that's my point because obviously you it's, it's are taught and, and everyone will say in the in Islam is that the Bible has been corrupted. By corrupted, they mean it's been lost. I agree that has been changed. No, listen, I'll, I'll repeat. I agree. I'll, I'll repeat. Listen to what I'm saying. I agree that has been changed. There's evidence, right? The there is visions and taken out. But what I'm asking you is, do we have what's written, written, written in the Bible? Read it out. <laughs> Can, is Which there a way, way of us finding out through textual criticism what was originally written? And that's what you have to say, I don't know. That's what I would say, you have to study that. No, but you just said to me, exactly what you just said. You said that you agree it's been changed, things have been added and taken out. You just said that. So how can I, how, how can I, no, no, wait, wait, wait. the literal definition is that the person It's in 279, the answer is expression of change from the original okay. Okay. It's chapter 2, verse 79. The answer that the Torah has been corrupted is in there. Chapter 2, verse 79, very clear. So do not say that Allah hasn't said this, Allah has already said this. So you just, so you just said that things have been changed. You said things have been changed. What gave them the right to change the word? No, 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 wait. I said they have been changed, and my question to you is, even if they have been changed, if there is a way now of finding out what was originally written, would that not become then a solved problem? Oh, that's a big issue. Yeah. 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 So that, that um, mechanism by which you go from whatever it was originally written is linked to criticism. So you see, one second, one second. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we believe that we have a lot of criticism, right? In terms of its meaning as well. Now, I'm not a textual critic. So I'm not going to go too okay. much. I can go a little bit on what I know in terms of details on that. But there is a, a societal and a societal methodology in knowing how to do that. So before you make the claim, that is being lost, then you should give up. Now, my point is, this is just like what I want to say to you. Now, in terms of what the Quran says, Ashim told you, and he knows because I told him, I spoke to him because I said that. My point is, I know about the Quran because you told me. My point is, about the Torah, is that the Quran seems to be a Quran that the Torah, that they had at the time, was the whole Torah of their truth. The Quran never says all Torah. Would you agree with this point? So you agree that it's not the whole Torah, even at the time, it's just part of it. And my question to you is, how would those Jews, those, those groups of Jews, know how to assess whether something is true or false in the scriptures that they have to know? Something is. They never will. How would they know what is true or false? What is preserved 
The dual mode, written and oral, and oral has always taken precedence. So his example of we can always reconstruct to the original, you cannot because you do not have the original. So you cannot compare it to the original. Simple as that. First century, zero manuscripts, zero. I think that should suffice. 
to basically discredit I said I'm not a I can show you the base. Is anybody else? I can only just show you how the base is. The fine.